Hi, my name is Kevin Good, and I'm a teacher at the William Grant Still Art Center, and we are going to jump back into piano, learning more about piano and also music theory. Last week, we spoke about the uh, treble clef and the bass clef. Treble clef is for your right hand, bass clef is for your left hand. We also spoke about the lines and spaces. So music is located on lines and spaces. You have five lines and you have four spaces. Um, the other items that we spoke, I think that's pretty much it. Today, we're going to keep going with that. Um, we're going to talk more about the lines and spaces. We're also going to talk about, talk about the note values. So not just the note itself, but also the value, like what's the rhythmic value? How long do we hold the note for? And also, we're going to talk about time signatures. So let's jump on in. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to my musical uh, worksheet right now. And right here, right now, we have... Uh, treble clef, bass clef, and then we have what's called a time signature. What is a time signature? A time signature tells us how many counts or beats there are per measure. Your next question is, what is a measure? Okay, I want to answer that question right here. Hopefully you can see my mouse. This line going down right through the music right there, that's called a measure. And so uh, basically, you're going to worry with the time signature, you're going to worry about the top number. The top number for right now is four. The top number could be four, it could be two, it could be three, it could be a lot of different things. But for the most part, especially at this level, you're going to run into either four, three, or two. Uh, you might run into a six, but we'll deal with that later. And for those um, inquiring minds that want to know, the bottom number means that the quarter note gets the beat, the bottom four. Because that, that bottom number can be a 4, it could be an 8, it could be a 2, it could be a lot of different things. But for right now, for everything that we're going to learn, it's going to be a 4. And that just means that the quarter note gets the beat. This is a quarter note. You have the note head, and then you have a stem. And so that represents a quarter note, one note. Then we come over here, another quarter note, another one, and another one. So notice that there are four quarter notes in this measure. And what did I say? The quarter note gets the beat, and remember the top number there means that there's only going to be four beats per measure, and then we get to this line. Whenever we get to this line right there, that's called a measure line, and that means we're going to start back over with one. Okay, uh, for those of you that uh, checked out the lesson from, from last week, what is this note? What's the note name? Okay, give you one second. All right, hopefully you got it. The note name is F. It is the first space. Remember, five lines and four spaces. The first space is F. And going up, if we counted all the spaces, or, or if we looked at the notes in each of the space, is spaces, it would be F, A, C, and E. But we're dealing with F right now. Okay, so F, and we're also dealing with a quarter note. How would that sound, those four quarter notes on the note F? Let me show you that right now. Here we go. One and two and three and four and i'm going to try to uh take my mouse and follow it at the same time one and two and three and four and okay that is what it sounds like i'm going to turn up the i'm going to turn up the music let's try it again Those are four quarter notes, and then we come over here and we have the line. That, lines mean, that line means that we're going to start a new measure. And for the new measure, what is this circle looking thing? It looks kind of like an egg or it looks like something. Okay, that is still an F, but there's another uh, value, a rhythmic value. This is called a whole note. So a whole note gets four counts. What does that mean? That means that we are going to hold it for the value of four beats. So in this first measure, we counted and we clapped or we played one and two and three and four and four beats. Um, the next measure, we're going to still count four beats, but we're only going to play the note once. So here we go. One and two and three and four and we left okay so 
a whole note, four counts, but you play the note only once and you, and you hold it for the value of four counts. So if we do these two measures together, we're gonna to start right over here. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay hopefully you did it good job whenever we encounter a measure line then we start back over with one so after that and then we come over here we're going to play one two three four again this next one an open or a clear note head with a stem that is called a half note that gets two counts okay so we have a whole note which looks like a circle and that gets four counts we have a quarter note which is a shaded note head with a stem uh, or a black note head there with a stem that gets one count and then a clear note head with a stem that gets two counts so for playing and that is called a those are called a half note so if i played the half notes one and two and three and four and so just like the whole note, we're going to hold it down for the value of whatever the count is. So that's two counts for the half notes, each of the half notes, one count for the quarter notes, and four counts for the whole note. I'm going to play this whole piece for you, okay? And I'm going to count it at the same time. So hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. And um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it, bring it up so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. Oops. Uh, I guess that's the best way. Okay, we'll leave it here. Here we go. Ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, 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 and Okay, good job. Hopefully you guys went through it and did it pretty well. Um, you always continue counting up inside of the measure. And once you hit the measure line, then you start back over with one. The last thing I'm going to teach you guys today is basically about, I forgot to place one up here, so we're going to do it now. It's called, um, what is it called? Eighth notes. Okay, I'm not sure how I could forget that, but I did. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do all right so two eighth notes equals one quarter note that's what I should have did that would have made more sense so you can see it better okay I'll play a quarter note and then two eighth notes quarter note two eighth notes there we go so a quarter note is equal to one and and then the eighth notes one and so it's the same value, the same length of time, only you play it differently. Two quarter notes basically equals to one, one, I'm sorry, two eighth notes equals to one quarter note. Okay, let me play it. It's probably gonna be easier for you to understand. So this one quarter note, one and. Eighth notes, two and. Quarter note, one and. Two eighth notes, two and. Quarter note, three and two eighth notes four and so one and two and three and four and okay once again one and two and three and four and okay so that's what that is you have whole note four counts quarter note or half note two counts quarter note one count and then eighth notes a half a count two eighth notes together equal one count okay so if if you're having a problem with this please refer to some of my other video previous videos about it um, but we are going to move on right now so what i want to do is take everything that we learned and i'm going to at least um i think we're going to be running a little bit over so i'm gonna i wanted to I'm going to show you how they work in a piece of music. 
uh, how everything works together in a piece of music. We'll talk about dynamics a little bit later, but for right now, I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to come over here to this hymn. It's a hymn that which a lot of people know. It's been around for years. It's called Be Thou My Vision. Uh, the other week, we also talked about, um, okay, so here, I'll get back to that. Here, we're in 3-4, whereas over here, we are in 4-4. Four, four. We still have a treble clef and a bass clef, and we have these lines right there that are, those are the measure lines. We have quarter notes, eighth notes, quarter notes, quarter notes, ah, dotted half note, okay. Dotted half note, I didn't talk to you guys about, but just it equals three counts for right now. Half note is two counts. The dot makes it three counts. I'll explain more later. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play just the melody line. Uh, and I'm going to play it with the rhythms that are written. Okay, so I'm just going to play the top line. If you follow here, here, there, there, all the way to there. And then this over here. Before we talked about, I spoke to you guys about accidentals. I remember I said flats, which look like a B. Basically, you're going to lower the note a half step. And then sharps, which look like a pound sign, you're going to raise it a half step. So here I have an E. And if it were E flat, I lowered a half step going to the left. And if it were E sharp, I raise it a half step going to the right. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to play Be Thou My Vision. Right here, we have three notes that are going to be altered automatically. A B flat, because that's on the third line. An E, uh, that's on the fourth space. And an A, which is in the second space. So I have to be careful and make sure that uh, B flat, E flat, and B, E, and A are all flatted. Um, if I were to clap this rhythm, it's going to be one two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and and i just ended right there so i'm going to take it i'm going to start from here here play those just the top note i'm not playing the full chord just the top note i want you guys to try to follow along okay be thou my vision okay Oops, started. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Two, three. And I'm going to count it this time. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two. Last time, just one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. And okay, that is Be Thou My Vision, the first part. And then we're going to stop right there because I think this is running kind of long, but we will pick it up next week. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see that everything we're learning over here, everything that we're learning with the lines and spaces, they all fit together. So um, quarter note, eighth notes, two eighth notes, quarter notes, half note, which is the dotted half note, which is three, um, whereas a half note here is two. We'll talk more about that. Um, and then we're going to also get into dynamics. But for now, we're going to stop there. I know it's a lot of information. Please review the video. Review it a couple times, and um, I will see you guys again next week. Stay safe and stay healthy. Take it easy.